Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Look at 1 Peter chapter 3, toward the end of your New Testament. While you're turning there, I'll read for you Genesis 3.16. This is all the way back to the very beginnings of mankind on this earth. Genesis 3.16, the third chapter in the Bible. And to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. I've heard pastors get up and preach, the man is not intended by God to rule over his wife. Well, this is what the Bible says, that the man is to rule over his family. Now, we're not talking about ruling with an iron fist, we're talking about ruling in love. What's emphasized? Love your wives. Don't be bitter against them. Don't be uh, cantankerous, but be loving. Be tender, be gentle, but be the leader. Be the ruler. Be the authority. Now, the sermon's geared toward men, but ladies, let your husband lead. Let your husband be the leader. You say, well, I'm a lot more spiritual than my husband. You know, he's not as, as strong in the faith. He's a baby Christian. He doesn't have the, the maturity. I'm kind of the one who's been saved longer. It doesn't matter. That husband has got to lead. Amen. I know of a person who's been saved for decades and is married to someone who just got saved recently. And she said, I want to go with him to a lot of different churches, try a bunch of fundamental Baptist churches, and let him choose the church. You know, that's right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You say, well, she's more experienced. She knows. Wait a minute. That home is going to be better off being led by a man. Otherwise, you're topsy-turvy. You're backwards. You've got to let the husband lead, ladies. And so, yes, this sermon is for you.